Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Are you ready for the big show? Because today another kind of Giro d'Italia is going to start. The mountain one, the hardest one, the most beautiful one. As a matter of fact, today we will have the first real high up mountain stage and the second summit arrival. 206 kilometers from Cherasco to Cervinia. Let's see what the people inside the team think about today's stage. Let's go. Today they need the right legs, that's all. I think our riders will be in the top positions. At least we start climbing, because for our team, which was supposed to work in the backstage, it has been really hard to arrive at this point of the Giro and to keep Roman and Tira in the top positions. Today we'll discover the truth. It's the first high up mountain stage, so you can feel a little bit more of strain in the air. But we're concentrated. We want to make a good job and perhaps to reach the pink jersey. I'm hoping we can uh, get it today, but uh, if not, then uh, there are still uh, quite a few difficult stages ahead, so we will get it if we deserve it. They are pro riders, so they haven't got problems, but you know, this stage will be the one that will look into the riders' eyes. They feel good. We wait as many others these stages. Today and tomorrow we'll see really something. We wish to be there. In the first part, the flood one, Someone will try to attack in order to have an advantage before going uphill. I think we'll have a good rhythm in the first climb, then the descent, hopefully without rain, and the summit finish where the men with good legs will make the difference. For sure, the GC men will move, but the climb is really long, so I think the ones which won't have a negative day will arrive all together. We'll see. For the GC men, the Giro starts here. Two weeks ago, we gave a look at today's climb, and it's really hard. With this stage, we'll start seeing the real mountains, the long climbs. As always, I'm quiet, motivated, ready to fight and to give my best. Well, the start will be not so easy and uh, the first long climbs are arrived today, so it will not be an easy stage, one of the hardest stages till now in Giro. <laughs> today it's the first uh, really climb stage and uh, we hope the weather uh, not uh, be so bad. And uh, we will see. Uh, Roman is, is uh, in a good shape and uh, he can also win the sta these stages. He likes uh, that uh, sort of climb like Cervinia, long but not so steep. And uh, I hope for him that uh, he can do good results. We all need to have the good legs. I think that after the last 10 days we're all quite tired. I've worked a lot before coming at this year, so I'm confident. Three kilometers to go and on the Giro route, another Kreisiger. We're here on a holiday, following the Giro, as we made last year. We'll be present at each mountain stage next week in order to support Roman and the other riders. After many years of experience, did you give him any further advice? We spent a lot of time together, especially during the winter time when he prepares for the following season. Now I'm here with my family and my little daughter but the result will depend on Roman and the Astana team. How do you say good luck in Czech? We say... So we wish he'll be able to reach one step of the podium. Grazie. Ciao. Astana, Astana. <laughs> It has been a really demanding stage. We've had two long and hard climbs. It was an important test for me to understand how my condition was. It seems to me that the condition is good. Tomorrow we'll have a more difficult stage and that one will suit me more. I wish to have the good legs to have a good result. Today was an important stage also because it has been a chance to understand who hasn't got a good condition. I actually don't know what happened behind me because I was always there. 
with a clear goal in my mind that was not to lose a second, neither a single position. Sheffer helped me a lot doing a great job from the car. Legs exploded in the last uh, three and a half kilometers. Four k's to go, I was still in a group, but then uh, suddenly I had nothing in the legs and uh, I couldn't keep up the tempo with the group and uh, came uh, came easier on the last last three and a half k's. So nothing special for me. Well, uh, today the final was very hard and very long also <laughs> because of the long climbs. The stage is finished with the victory of Amador, but on the same summit finish we've got uh, also two other important results. That means that Tiralongo is away from the pink jersey with a 41 uh, second gap and Kreuziger is away from that important, most important one jersey with the gap of uh, 1 minute 07. See you tomorrow.